being on your own, it's an adventure because you do things that you would never do. You don't have anybody to answer to. It's just, it's wonderful. Welcome to just another group chat. I feel like we got the assignment. We did. Today, like, we're all in black. <laughs> this my, was not even planned. My gothness is rubbing off on you all. I know, yeah. Laura and I are in the exact same outfit. Yeah, you yeah. Are, yeah. And, yeah, we don't generally wear a lot of all black. Nah. It's, Ever? I mean, something's happening. Mercury, that, hello. Yeah. Whoa. So, Whoa, Mercury. Mercury's in... It's in retrograde. retrograde. What did you call it before? Was it you who called it like retrospect or something? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something I would say, but it yeah. wasn't. It wasn't like, you know. mm. um, Welcome to just another group chat this week. If you are listening, thanks. If you are watching, hi. <laughs> um, this week's going to be an interesting one. We are talking about being alone, but more so how to be happy on your own. It's. I feel like I could talk about this for. A long, long time. <laughs> yeah, me too. Mm. So we'll just delve straight into it, shall we? Yes. Um, when people say, I'm alone, it's automatically as, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. bless you. Are you okay? Everything all right? So the word alone has got this like negative kind of connotation with it. But then also when you think about it, it sometimes doesn't because you can say, I just want to be left alone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just leaves alone. Like, it can be quite an empowering, strong, no, no, leave me alone, or whatever it might be, good, like, good thing. So, why when people say, I'm alone, does that have to be such a, oh, no, trauma, kind of, what do I say, thing? It's like a societal construct, I was it? just about to say, <gasps> <So, yeah, laughs> go on. Uh, yeah, it is, it's, it's because you, you, you society expects you to be with someone my twitter yeah. handle is um just laura Way. because um and has been for a million years because i got sick of saying when people when i was single of saying oh so who are you bringing to whatever i was like just me yeah just me and it was like oh yeah i'm sorry i'm not enough yeah 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 <laughs> you're expecting a side show like <laughs> it's fine <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, it is true. Like there is this societal thing of like you'll meet someone or you and I think especially if you go through a breakup or anything, it, there's an automatic thing where people say, You'll meet someone. Mm. You'll meet someone. Don't worry. You'll meet someone. <laughs> Plenty more fish in the Yeah, sea. yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't panic. Don't panic about being alone. Cause you'll meet someone. And like, even if you weren't panicking before, you are then. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, you won't be alone forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is like, all those say, get get yourself back on the horse. All those say, get back on the, get yourself on the date naps or whatever it might be. Mm. It's like being alone isn't an option. Yeah. That's what it's like, especially when you go through a breakup. It's like, don't worry about it. You'll meet somebody else. Like, it's like nobody ever goes when, when you've broken up with someone. No one even goes, think of all the amazing things you can do alone now. Yeah. Nobody yeah. has that conversation. And I think that should become a thing. Yeah. Because if somebody sits you down when you've gone through a big one and goes, let's talk about some of the amazing things about being alone. Let's talk about what the good things are. Yeah. That might help. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Um, what do we not like about being alone? What's this what scares us about being alone? Too much time to think for me. <clears throat> With your own thoughts. Yeah. I have too much time to think. And okay catastrophize yeah yes yeah about things what do we think about loneliness then i think the worst kind of loneliness you can feel is in a relationship yes yeah that, so, that is the worst ha have you ever been alone in a relationship oh, yeah oh absolutely Massively. Yeah. and it's much worse much worse some of the best memories don't get us wrong some of the best memories of my life have been with partners but some of the best times prolonged periods of time of when i've been single yeah mm. and i've either been with friends or just on me own, yeah. just cracking on yeah. and just doing new stuff because I, I'm better, I, f I prefer to be not so much in a relationship, but I like to have somebody to bounce off. Mm -hmm. um, but I get that with me friends. Yeah, I remember when me and Liam first moved to Newcastle and that two or three years <clears throat> was absolutely amazing yeah because we had I have nobody to please but ourselves yeah. and we just I have a memory of being single when I was about a memory <laughs> about um I think I must be about 20 23 24 along that age 
and it was the best time I'd accepted because I'd been in such a long relationship. I think I'd been in a relationship since I was about 15 with two different people, but I'd like consecutively just been in a relationship. I'd never really been by myself Mm -hmm. from 15. So then I just, I remember being in my twenties thinking I'm in my early twenties. I'm absolutely hundred percent not going to be in another relationship. And not only did I accept it, but I kind of made sure that I avoided that route. Yeah. Which is interesting because when that happens, they come flocking, don't they? Oh but, yeah. Everyone but, wants to marry you when, yeah, you, wanna, yeah, yeah. when you just want to when be, you be by, yourself, yeah. by yourself. And, um, and I had the best time. I had such a great time. I was like, I remember thinking, oh, I can watch what I want, mm. can eat what I want, can go where I want, like I can do anything. I don't have to consider anybody else's feelings at all. Do you know what I find really bizarre? Not only like people who you know's reaction when you're like, nah, I just want to be on my own, but a man's reaction. Yeah. If you're like dating somebody and then it kind of starts getting serious and you are the one who backs away and they're like, huh? They're like, eh? What? You, you mean don't you don't want... want to create life with me and get married <laughs> and you don't want to tie me down and clip my wings yeah. and yeah. own me? Nah, not really, mate. No, you're fine. Like, No, no. you're just like a nice... It's interesting though, isn't it? That like when people say about being alone and then they say, oh, you'll meet someone, they mm. automatically think about romantic relationships yeah. Yeah. as opposed to like friendships. So like, yeah, because for me, there's different types of loneliness mm. and and I am I feel very lucky that I don't have a loneliness in terms of there's different types of loneliness isn't there so I think the first thing anybody should really do is figure out what it is that's making them lonely like what they're missing yeah as such so for me it's more of a or it has always been more of a romantic thing like if I'm not with a partner there's things that I would miss about that Mm -hmm you know, snuggling on the sofa or whatever it might be. Or it's always to do when it comes to me, personally, with more of the intimacy yeah. and that intimate yeah. connection. Whereas I have some amazing friends. So I don't feel like loneliness around going to the cinema or going for a restaurant meal or something like that. But that's different for everybody. Yeah. Like people do automatically go, oh, you by yourself, but 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 they think about a partner in terms of a, a, a romantic mm. partner. Like I'm, as being newly single, I feel lonely, but not because I haven't got a partner because my best friend lives 200 miles away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why I feel lonely. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I don't, I feel lots of things, mm-hmm. but I, I don't feel lonely because we're not together anymore. Yeah. I feel lonely because like. You feel by yourself me, in, yeah, like, in this situation. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's not a kind of like, oh, I'm so lonely mm-hmm. type situ. Mm-hmm. It's just like somebody who, that person who knows you like inside out. Yeah. Yeah. That it's, connection. Yeah. yeah. And it, it gets, I think again, for me only, I think I'm just thinking for me here. Yeah. It's a not being able, it's like, it feels like a lack of support. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like sometimes that person should be the person that props you up a bit when you need it. And yeah. then sometimes if that's not there, you're a bit like, oh. Nah. where's my prop yeah help me <laughs> I find that like sp- like particularly with like getting out and stuff and doing things like yesterday I had a day off mm-hmm. I did absolutely fuck all yeah all day did yeah. nothing there was no motivation to go out there was no motivation to do anything I mean I'm also a little bit mentally ill so that's <laughs> but like I didn't like I ended up going for a walk with my friend at like 8 o'clock because PM. The two, yeah because the two of us were like right when we've both sat in the house all day mm-hmm. Let's just go out and do something. Yeah. And I think when you're in a relationship, like you say, it's the bouncing off. It's a lot easier. Like, let's go here. Yeah, let's go here. Let's mm-hmm. do this. Let's do that. And it's more, it feels more pleasant to share it with somebody. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've been the cinema on my own and mm-hmm. I've gone to, like for walks on my own and I've yeah. done stuff on my own and it's nice and I like it, mm-hmm. but it's also nice with somebody else. Like, yeah. yeah. And it, but it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody romantic. Like That's what I was going to say then, yeah. Like a friend or... That I really do think there should be more apps around building friends. Yeah. Yeah. Like in terms of dating apps and stuff around building friends. Because if you think the amount of dates you've been on, or when you've gone on a date with someone, you think, oh, this person's great, but as a friend. But then you don't really stay friends because there was an awkward kind of thing in the first place about yeah. your dating. But if there was just like an actual app around building friendships that you could even get your nana on. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, let's, yeah. let's do that. Because loneliness, especially, in, like, it it becomes, 
really intense, especially for, for the older community as well. Mm. Like it's, it can be tough. And that is to do with normally, not specifically a partner, but because friends are not there anymore or yeah. they don't get to spend that time. And I, th- I think it's hard when you get to our age as well, especially for a woman, because the majority of my friends have got families, mm-hmm, they've got yeah. husbands, they've got... So for me, I don't feel like... Like if Liam, this sounds awful, like if Liam was home, I wouldn't feel like give it a second thought of just like, I mean, he lives with us, so it's not as if I could turn up at his house, but like to be like, hi. Yeah, Mm. yeah. Because I think, well, she's got a kid's look after, she's got a husband to think of, she's got a a full-time job, she's got Mm -hmm. this and she's got that. Whereas maybe I don't pay him the same respect. I'm just like, (laughs) talk to me, entertain (laughs) me, make me feel nice. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. It's, and I, I do think it's interesting. Um, I think everybody should do the, the soul searching thing of figuring out what makes you feel lonely because just delve into it like a little bit more and a little bit more. So if it is um, like when I, when I did it, I was thinking, right, what am I missing? And it was almost like I needed a bit of conversation from somebody who fancied us. Yeah. Do you, yeah. know, do you know what I mean? That and that that thing I was like craving, I guess, but like or somebody who who thought I was attractive or liked us in that way, in the romantic way. And I guess I when you delve into that a little bit more and a little bit more, you think, well, why is that? And actually it comes down to because I get a lot of my confidence from that. Yeah. Why am I getting confidence from somebody else and not working on that on myself? So that's where I delved and thought, you know what, this issue is not about me being lonely. It's about me giving myself more self-worth and more kind of um, confidence. Yeah. Don't put your self-worth in other people's hands. Yeah, yeah. It it was literally, it was about, right, actually, no, I'm going to give, I need to be able to feel nice in myself from myself yeah tell myself these things tell me, and that's hard you've got to be your own cheerleader though haven't yeah, you but yeah but it's not yeah. easy it's, oh god no it's not easy it's not but easy. if you get up on a morning and you look in the mirror and you go oh, my hair looks shit today there's mm-hmm. no one there to go no it doesn't you look lovely yeah yeah so you have to do yeah that. you have to then yeah. you end up having a full-on conversation in the mirror <laughs> <laughs> yes i do no i don't <laughs> that looks great no it doesn't yeah. like, but little things like if you make a really nice meal for yourself be like that was f- delicious. yeah yeah like mm-hmm. yeah. the smallest things mm-hmm. like just you putting have to, a load of washing in yeah well done bitch yeah, yeah. like i <laughs> nailed it. it yeah yeah that's yeah, you with clean pants for the next exactly, week yeah like <laughs> stuff like that that's, and i mean people probably don't do that in relationships mm-hmm. but like i don't know i just feel like that you definitely get um a different you get to a different level of like having to kind of motivate yourself. You do. And, like, and it's it's tough because it's continuously not going to always happen. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you will not be able to do it. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes you're like, oh, I don't, I can't. Because you're tired or you're exhausted or hang on, hung over or whatever it might be. Mm. You, you can't do it always. But I think it's about trying to stay consistent with that. Yeah. Do you two know what your, I guess, what makes you feel lonely? And have you delved into that before? I need human connection. Just human in, in general, so not mm. romantic? Not necessarily. Okay. I thought I did yeah. when I first moved out and like I was on my own and obviously it was the novelty and I was having steak every night and mm-hmm. salmon and I was flipping, talking to people and people coming round and it was wonderful. And then like I realised that actually I'm just as happy not dating, just sitting and chatting like mm-hmm. and having somebody around and making yeah. some nice food and talking mm-hmm. about stuff and it's just for me it's just human human connection, connection. I mean, yeah you know and i think is that are, right without like being too fraud fraudulent <laughs> fraudulent fraud freudian 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 <laughs> fraudulent's a different like, thing some may say it's one and the same <laughs> well <laughs> I mean, I about fraud, freudian. Yeah. freudian freudian why am i why am i struggling i don't know anyway is that to do with the fact that when you're speaking to other people, probably about other people, you're not thinking in in your own mind too much. Yeah, probably. Like you're not by yourself yeah, with your own so thoughts. Like I like I'll um occupy myself with other people's mm-hmm. um 
I don't know, wants and needs, I suppose, to yeah. a degree. And then if you delve, again, if you keep delving, I guess it can come down to actually, again, which you've said openly, you struggle with mental health. Yeah. So actually being alone with your own thoughts can potentially lead you into a bad place. Yeah, it's a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I think for me, it's about, I'm like a, um, I like to be able to care and look after someone mm -hmm. and like, I like putting them first and maybe that's a fear thing because I've, I've never really put myself first. Mm -hmm. So when I do start doing that, I'm like, Oh, I don't like, I, I don't like it cause it's new mm -hmm. and I don't like change. Yeah. So if I can, like this week's been a massive struggle and I've been my most animated when people have needed us for stuff, yeah. which is because good. you're, you, you are very good at staying distracted. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's an art. <laughs> it's, not good, it's not good art. Yeah. But yeah, like when pick when I'm like, right, I'll do with you in a minute. You, I'll do this with you. Blah 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 blah. And then it's like, oh, I should really like sort myself out. Really so soon. if somebody said to you, oh, actually, we're all off for three days now, and actually, all your mates are busy and Liam's not here, that would be like your worst nightmare. It would, but I know it's what I actually need. Yeah because mm. that's I what I was going to come to yeah because I know that's what I need because it's an avoidance thing of feeling what you need to feel to process mm. to and that's like I guess some of the hardest stuff I am exactly the same so I'm going to say it now yeah <laughs> used to a proper distraction stations and oh, yeah. yeah. I'm like I just want to be in my feelings let's <laughs> let us feel these things I'm just like feelings feelings I'm got my yeah. feelings it's fine yeah I'm like let's deal with your feelings yeah I'm like oh there's a feeling cropping up must go and do another degree <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or something, you know, stay busy. Let's start another business. Yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, is there a difference between lonely on a Monday and lonely on a Saturday? Ooh. Hmm. Would you feel less or differently lonely on a Saturday than you would on a Monday? Yeah. 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 Think, yeah. Why? Because if I'm on my own on a Saturday... And I know everybody's often because you're comparing stuff. to other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm like scroll on Instagram, seeing everybody like yeah. hey there and everywhere. Yeah, and like a little bit of a spit and venom about it because I'm like, well, yeah, because we compare our lives to other people's lives, mm. and then go, why am I not doing that? Yeah. Why is my life not like that? I don't really have a formal thing. Like I'm very odd in that respect that I don't look and think, oh, look at them doing this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. I do it in a feeling way. Like, I wish I felt like that. Yeah. Like, not, a I wish I was doing that. I wish I could do what I need to do and feel like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then I, like, I don't process things. I just... I have, bus I have business FOMO. I think that's about as far as my FOMO goes. Like, mm. if there's another business doing well, I'm like, I have FOMO. I'm like, you I'm, don't on. Say. I'm like, I need to get involved in whatever that's happening over there <laughs> yeah. because I'm... Used to me, that. We've never noticed. <laughs> At all? At all? <laughs> what you mean? It doesn't impact the business. <laughs> um, yeah, no. I just I thought it was interesting. I did think about that Monday being lonely on a Monday. You you probably wouldn't expect it, but if you know Saturday is coming and you are potentially feeling loneliness, that can be the day that you potentially dread. Mm. That can be the yeah. day that you're like, oh, what am I going to do on the weekend? Or oh God, everybody else is doing this and everyone else is doing that, and it makes you feel worse. Yeah. Because the whole world is out doing the things that you potentially want to do. Yeah. And I think this is why social media can be really dangerous in a very disconnected, connected world. I agree and I don't because I was, because TikTok is a very odd thing. Like my algorithm on TikTok within like five days has changed. Wow. It's so weird. And I was watching a TikTok last night and it it was this guy saying, don't waste the pain mm. don't waste the hurt and don't waste the pain use it which I thought was very because that's not something I do yeah I, I, I use anger yeah and like I, I use that as motivation as fuel as whatever but I just try and forget about pain and mm -hmm. hurt and whatever and I think that's a interesting mm -hmm. thing do other people do that um yeah, I think I do sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. What so let's talk about being lonely in a relationship. Oh god. It's so, it's tough, isn't it? It's grim. 
It's it's by far the worst kind of loneliness. Yeah. Mm. And have you ever said to somebody in a relationship, I'm really lonely? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's they're a bit like, oh <laughs> I think for women as well, I know not me last relationship but the one before that. I remember as we were splitting up because it was a very long relationship, so it was a very drawn out process. And he was like devastated and really upset and all the rest of it. And I I was very aware that I must have looked a bit hard faced. Yeah. And what I had to point out was what you're feeling now you is were feeling. how I felt for the last 12 months, but I had to do that lying next year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that loneliness in a relationship when you can tell mm-hmm. that it's going down the swanee yeah. and you think, oh God. Mm-hmm. But then I think that's just, I mean, total stereotype, but I think that's, women can sense that yeah. quicker than normally than men. I've been through some relationships where there's been like, I guess if my attention's been diverted or like when <clears throat> Isabel was born, for example, like yeah. she, I was only 18, but my boyfriend at the time was really put out. Um, it's happened more than once that, but. Uh, <laughs> really? That's happened to me. <laughs> what put out because your attention was, uh, oh, actually the same with a dog, wasn't it? For me. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. Had that. So this is what I think with, the dog. I don't, again, from my experience, guys tend to, if your attention is diverted, tend to feel more lonely mm-hmm. that way, I guess, if if something else comes along or. Yeah. I don't think they see it as loneliness. So I think they see it as. I'm, I'm attention. Not, I'm not the center of attention. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's not right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They can't and recognize it as I'm lonely and say the words, I'm feeling lonely. That's, but that's <laughs> Imagine in a if way, that had happened one time. Like, oh my God, somebody gets it. <laughs> yeah, it's very bizarre. I, but I think, yeah, it, it, for, for, in my experience, I'm not saying this for all men, but it's been like, yeah, it's been an attention thing. It's like a, hmm. Like their nose is put out. Yeah. As opposed to feeling lonely, but they probably do yeah. feel lonely mm-hmm. at the bottom of them. Mm-hmm. So there's a societal kind of pressure to, from, I mean, I'm talking, I remember... I mean, I got married at 26 and I thought I was, I didn't think I was a young bride by any stretch of the imagination at the time. Mm. Now I'm like, God, I was so young. 26. 26. I, I, know. I was engaged for the first time at 21. <clears throat> yeah, I was 26 and I remember yeah. thinking, this is great age to get married. And like, I wasn't, I didn't think I was a young bride or anything like that. But yeah, there's a societal kind of thing on must meet someone, get married, have children, follow this path. And actually, it's that path would not suit some people at all. And some mm. people don't want kids. And, you know, a lot of actually meeting a partner and and going through having a, a cre- starting um, to have kids or anything like that, it's, it's a completely different life to what you'd have with your partner, just you two. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so it's a whole new chapter. It's a whole new, it's a whole new thing. And you rediscovering yourselves as two different people. Um, how, like, how do you go against that grain then when the world and society is telling you this is the path that everybody should go down? Well, this is exactly why, why and how my relationships just ended. Mm-hmm. Because he f- had kind of got that whole societal pressure, mm-hmm. I think it got to him and he was like, all right, this is what I need to do. This so is this, the next step. This mm-hmm. is the next step. This is what I want to do. And then kind of realized, actually, I feel at my best mm-hmm. when it's just me. Mm-hmm. And people are like, like, oh, well, mm-hmm. why? Mm-hmm. Well, is that not one of the healthiest ways to be? Yeah. Mm-hmm. In essence. Mm-hmm. Because... He it's, has, yeah. he's not placing his happiness on anyone else mm-hmm. or any other situation apart from wanting to be, to be in new places and not to be kind of in one place for a, a lot of time. Yeah. But it's, it's hard, it's been, it's hard for him, really, mm-hmm. really hard because everyone's expecting, oh, well, yeah, you've done that, you, you know, you've, 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 yeah. you've wandered about, you've, you've seen new things and mm-hmm. now you need to settle down. Well, why does he? There's a bit of a, a kind of misconception that people who want to be alone are major commitment phobes or they want to party all of their life yeah. or do you know what I mean that kind yeah, of definitely. like I had a, a, a partner whose brother um didn't really want to be in a relationship and I remember thinking 
I genuinely remember thinking, well, you just what does he just want to go out and get drunk all the time? Like, mm. so, yeah. Because in your brain, when I was 20 something, it's you are single and living your best life, oh. going out on the lash all the time. <laughs> or great. you're in a relationship <laughs> and you settle down and you putting on weight and yeah (laughs) yeah and you don't go out and do those things like that's not life yeah that's not how it is anybody who's 20 something why can you not be in a friendship and living your best life or in a relationship and going out on the lash like it's not how it it's not how it works and nobody nobody's ever said especially for women i think more so than men oh look at her she's on her own living her best life (laughs) (laughs) It's like, oh, look at her, she's on her own. God love her, she's like Miss Havisham. <laughs> Fuck off. Like, Jesus, it's 2022. Man. But then, when you look at Gwen. Oh, oh, Gwen. Gwen is living her best life. She. To the max. So she's been kids. alone, we say alone, and it's not a bad thing. Yeah. She's been happily alone for, well, we'll ask her, we'll get her in and we'll ask her, but quite some time. Mm-hmm. She is happy as can be by herself. Oh. She's she takes all the good things and she she yeah, she's totally happy. I think every conversation I have with Gwen about not about work, but about personally, starts with from her, I've got such a wonderful life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she literally must say that on the mm-hmm. daily. Yeah. And I don't think it's I think she genuinely that's how she feels. So what let's talk about some things that help. If you are somebody who's thinking, ah, oh, sorry, I was a bit by myself. I know a girl who um because for women we have to think about if you do want kids, that is something that we have to think about. Mm. But I think the the world is slightly shifting, but needs to shift towards the the fact that actually you don't necessarily have to be in a relationship to do that. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. definitely. Anymore. You can um you know, there's donors, there's different kind of options, there's adoption that you can go, route-wise, you can go through to have a child that you, if you want a child. um, Yeah, I know a girl who's done that and everybody at the school gates, like, is really jealous of her. <laughs> They're all whinging about their partners and she's there just like, nah, uh, uh. Yeah, just me and my yeah, kid. Just like, me and my kid. Time. She's got two kids, both of them to a donor. Mm-hmm. Um, the same donor mm-hmm. and um, and she doesn't have anybody else to think about. She didn't want a partner. She was happy by herself, but she wanted kids. Yeah. yeah. And why is that, why is that not okay? Why is that difficult I know, to I, understand? Yeah. Because it, it's not society's picture perfect picket fence house yeah. with three kids and a dog. And well, it's the whole nuclear family thing, isn't it? Yeah. Man, woman, two children, house, marriage. Which is just not the world. No, nah. I just think you kind of do a one size fits all. Like nah. it doesn't, it doesn't, nah. there's always going to be people who are going to book against the trend. And like, for me, like, I mean, I like to think of myself as somewhat radical. I'm not really radical, but like someone who doesn't really like to swim with the current. Mm-hmm. Like it's probably one of my biggest achievements being and living on my own yeah. for the last year and a half. Yeah. And as a single woman, like supporting herself financially and stuff mm-hmm. as well. And like you're the Laurie, you're the only person I know who has bought our own house and lives on our own. I've I've, I've pointed this out so many times, mm-hmm. and people look at us like, mm-hmm. oh. like I'll say, near me another apart from me, near me another single woman in their thirties who has bought a house, mm-hmm. and it's who, incredible, and who runs a house on yeah. their own. Yeah, and that I'm not asking for a round of applause. I'm I'm asking for people to realise. How scary that is! That yeah, that is yeah. so mm-hmm. rare. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, why? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why is that so rare? And why? I don't know. It's why are we scared of that? Yeah. Well, it's because like I say, predominantly heterosexual relationships. You look all the way back to you know Victorian times and whatever else. Like women were financially supported. Like mm-hmm. you were. So you kind of for a long time. I was like. Uh, I think subconsciously rather than consciously, I was like, I'll be more financially secure if I'm with someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, and it took for me to be like, actually, when I made this, the decision to move out on my own, to be like, no, actually, I can do it. Like, I've always, always been quite financially independent. Mm. Always. <clears throat> I think it's just because I grew up with Donna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, you can yeah. both imagine how that went. So, yeah, no, I think just in terms of financial independence, I've always been um, 
Yeah, kept it separate. Yeah, I think that's really important. Oh, and I think it can be own. healthy. Like for me, that is part of me feeling my independence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and and I don't think that has to be taken away if you do get in a relationship or anything like that. It's yeah. I think it's, it's important to feel independent when you're in a relationship as well yeah it is because if you don't you put far too much and I've done this before in the past you put too much pressure on the other person Mm -hmm. because it's like right this person is now responsible for keeping us financially Mm -hmm. for keeping us happy Mm -hmm. like that's a lot you become trapped yeah you can become and you trap them and you trap each other in that situation and it's never good like people need the freedom to be themselves and essentially to also want if they ever want to leave to be able to leave yeah yeah. That's a healthy relationship. And not feel sort of, yeah. Not feel like, oh God, leave. I can't leave because well, I can't afford a house or I can't afford, yeah. the, do you know what I mean? Like it's, that's not, that's not healthy. Um, it, it horrifies me that there are so many people like my nana, my mom went from living at home to getting married, to living with their husband. And there are so many people, even in here there are so many people who have never lived on their own. And I think yeah. you are missing an amazing, mm-hmm. like, opportunity. To fa- yeah. Not just, not just, and that opportunity, I think, also helps you discover you. Oh, without a doubt. Like, I don't, I don't know how else you would go through some of those things. Like, how, it sounds true, but how much of a clean freak are you? And how do you know how much of a clean freak you are until you live by yourself? Mm-hmm. How much do you like to cook and how do you know until you live by yourself those are the kind of things that I think yeah you it's it is healthy and when you share your life with someone else and your home especially with someone else things like that and things like how do you know whether you're a morning or a nighttime person when you you've consciously working around somebody else's schedule Mm -hmm. like you don't know you don't have that freedom to to find out what what hits for you yeah I didn't know what kind of tea drinker I was. Did you not? Until I until I broke up with my ex. And we've been together for like three years and we we're engaged and all the rest of it and we lived together. And uh, I got my flat a couple of months after living with my parents and I went to do my first supermarket shop and I stood in the tea aisle <laughs> and I went, I don't know what tea bag yeah, I Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what. Yeah. And that was a proper turning point for me because mm-hmm. I was like, I'm 32. Yeah, yeah. How do I not know yeah. what tea bags are? Yeah. Like? Because I've always just drank what other people have given us. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm like, no, I like fucking Yorkshire tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, did, I did a similar thing with washing powder. Yeah. yeah. What washing powder do I want yeah. today? What mm-hmm. washing powder? What's my washing powder smell? Yeah. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? Those little things, though, that are just such a turning point, and you go, all oh, right, okay. That's, yeah. that's another little, um, a yeah. little thing to add to the list of who I actually am exactly, and what yeah. I actually like. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not all roses and like, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes it is difficult. But I think on the whole, like, even when you move in with someone, like, the style of the house and stuff is like yeah. an amalgamation of both yes, of you. Yes, two people. But like, you go in my house now and everything's black. <laughs> yeah, class. Like, it's like, that because that's, and now I, I struggle to envision myself moving in with somebody else or something and giving up some of that, that. environment mm-hmm. I always I've always said that that I like to think that if you you could just be placed in my house in any room in my house and you know you were in my house yeah and I'll, I'll like that mm-hmm. I, that's one of the like things about me independence and living an, alone that I really like mm-hmm. yeah like this is 100% me mm-hmm. there's nobody else's style there's nobody else's things mm-hmm. yeah. it's just that's me I picked it I yeah. paid for it yes I keep it clean tidy mm-hmm. washed whatever yeah. like i go in the fridge it's all the food that i like yeah. yeah like and there is something really liberating about yeah that. really and something really like empowering to be like yeah mm-hmm. just my house yeah yeah <laughs> and then on that note as well when you're alone thinking right what do i want to do mm-hmm. this weekend how do i want to spend my time do i and you, you don't have to justify your choices to anyone. Like, actually, I want to spend this weekend in bed, mm-hmm. which is precisely what I did. Yeah. And I was like, the first person who questions it mm-hmm. is going to get told to fuck right off. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to embrace the fact that's the only positive thing I'm gripping to in yeah. the minute is that it doesn't matter. Yeah. It does not matter. If mm-hmm. I want to go for a walk, I'll go for a walk. Mm-hmm. If I want to lie in my bed and drink gin all weekend... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna fucking do that yeah, if i yeah. want to watch superstore for the 45th time <laughs> that's okay yeah and yeah it, like and it's your choice and it's your space and it's your time 
There's yeah. no one answer to. Mm-hmm. We don't have anyone answer to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's what if we like... cause breakups by this podcast? <laughs> like, I've been listening to the podcast. I've decided, get out. <laughs> yeah, get out. Good. I mean, chances are, if that's what you're thinking in the first place, you're probably not. Yeah. yeah. That happens. That's true. Um, solo <laughs> dates. Have you ever been on a solo, like, took yourself on a date? Mm-hmm. I haven't. I have. I have. I like it. I like it. And I, to oh be fair, God, I did it in London when I lived in London. And it was very easy to do there. Yeah, there's a lot. Very of people, easy yeah. to do because I used to take myself off to a wine bar. You know, I like me wine. And mm-hmm. I used to take myself off and I would get myself a nice big glass of wine before I went home. Because I was potentially going home to to a telly or something. And I thought, no, I'm going to soak in the atmosphere it's a Friday night. I'm finished work. I'm going to go to a bar. I'm in and I'm one going of the get, best cities in the world. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go and get some nice little bar picky foods. And, and then I don't have to cook tea. And I'm going to just eat out. And I would sit and I would people watch. And I used to have a great time. I used you know to have what? a great time. I might do that this weekend. Yeah. Because I was thinking I might take myself for a walk along the beach. Because we've got like one of the most amazing coastlines ever. Yeah, yeah. I might take myself to the stack. So I go yeah. to the stack a lot by myself. Now I have a child. So she's with us a lot of the time. But So I take Addy, mm-hmm. which is very different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you're trying to sit still and give our food. And it's very much not as relaxing and chilled. But... It, it, there is something to be said, and I will suggest anybody who hasn't done this, if you're in a relationship or if you're not, yeah, do it. take yourself on a solo date, go and take yourself somewhere that you want to eat, and I'm talking sit and have a restaurant meal by yourself, and, and just have some time because, do you know what, you'll come away, I can guarantee you'll come away beaming from ear to ear, smiling, because it's nice to appreciate your own time, yeah, and your own self, and... If you go in with all good intentions, then you can come away from that experience thinking, wow, I just did that. You know, like go to get to 70 year old and think you've never been to a restaurant by yourself. True. It's the euphoria, isn't it? Of like going against that. Yeah. Like, yeah, it is. Yeah. That thing, I think yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Being like, yeah, did you just do that. Yeah. 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 Did you just go to a restaurant by myself. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Anybody who's looking at us thinking I'm weird. No, like, do you know what it is? I think any, re- any waitress as well, when I've ever done it, they're a bit like, so they're always, are you waiting for someone? And I'm like, no, no. And the, and they look, and honestly, the face. Feels shit for asking. No, nah. They're really always like, a bit like, ah, yeah. Like, it, they question, like, they're like, ah, wow, that's, that's possible. Yeah. Like, and it's such a little thing to do, and it's scary at first, but if you go and you have a lush meal, or you're really excited about some nice food, or some nice drinks, or whatever it is, go and do it. Take yourself out. Go to the stack or wherever you need to go that you think, I'm going to enjoy this food. And I'm going to enjoy a drink and I'm just going to sit and I'm not, I'm just going to enjoy it. Like don't be on your phone. Don't no, be like, no, yeah. nothing like that. Just Keep, like look around. Yeah. Look at what's going on. Watch things. And do you know, on that, on that note, you don't know, you might be the person who the on the table next year, there could be a couple in a relationship yeah. where one of the, or the other feels really lonely yeah. and looks at you and thinks... Oh, it's possible to be by yourself. Me, I'm going to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't look lonely. Mm-hmm. I'm sat with this chump. Yeah. And like... <laughs> yeah. She's having a whale of a time. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do it on Saturday. Yes. I love a solo date, me. Yeah. On my birthday this year, I took the day off. I went and got tattooed. I went and took myself to the cinema. Yeah. I may have spilled my popcorn at pot, like halfway through <laughs> them. I felt like a pure dick because I was like... <laughs> and, then and then I went home and I had a nap. And then I went to my mum and dad's for tea, but I was like, that was the day, my day, how I wanted to like spend, spend it. Mm-hmm. And I did. Mm-hmm. I didn't think like, oh, well, it's my birthday, so I need to like be doing things with people. Yeah, and yeah. Like, no, I'm just going to do what I like, fill it with things that I like. And I remember once I went for dinner by myself as well, but I I had a different mindset and I was like, I'm by myself and I just want someone to talk to and I'm feeling lonely and I'm this and I'm that and the other. And I had a terrible time. Because I went out and everywhere I looked, instead of seeing smiling, happy faces and people laughing and people like joking and laughing and having a great time, I saw couples and I saw people yeah. on dates and I saw them holding hands and I saw them. And it's about perspective, isn't it? Like yeah. how you want to see the world is, is what you'll see, I guess. And that night I was like, oh, I'm just by myself. And like, uh, uh, but actually... <clears throat> Go in with a good mindset. Go in and look for joy and happiness and, mm. and you'll see it. It'll be there. I sort of go through a few tips on how to be by yourself. How to be happy by yourself. 
for me, exercise and nature are two big ones. Yeah. Because although I go on about having a gym buddy all the time, that's only because I need a spa because I'm getting lifting heavy weights and that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rambo. <laughs> fucking hell. But actually, Wait, it's a lot. <laughs> um, you want to get I'm not telling you. It's you? not very big, actually. Um, it's a good achievement for me. Yeah. Tell you what I'm lifting more than I started to lift when nice. I first did it. I like so, it. um, yeah. So, but for me, exercise is my space <clears throat> to not think about anything. Yeah. I'm focusing on physically exercising. Count your reps. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, and I'm not thinking about work or the next thing I've got to do or relationships or my child, or I'm not thinking about anything. It feels to me like blank space. As blank as you're going to get. And it, and it, yeah. And for me, I need that because my brain is continually full of things and I'm pulled in 17 different directions all the time. So it's just like, nah, nobody needs us. Nobody wants us. I don't need to give myself to anybody or any time to, to away. I'm just going to exercise. And then the other one is nature for me. Mm. Being outdoors in nature, going for a walk, like you say, mm. like it is therapeutic. It's like my, it's my it's part of mindfulness, isn't it? Being in nature, yeah. being taking time to. I think for me, one that I haven't tried before, but I'm going to try this time is just don't let yourself get distracted. I just need to feel feel the feelings, feel the feelings, process. Yeah, process. process. Don't just put it in a box because you'll end up at thirty seven with a fucking shit ton of boxes, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden somebody will just go ping. Mm -hmm. And they're all open. Yeah. And you're like, oh. Yeah. You've got to process. You've got to process things. You've got to feel them and you've got to go through it. And it fucking hurts. Yeah. But you'll come out the other side potentially stronger and yeah. lighter, more. I feel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because at the moment, I feel very heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like. Well, everything will be weighing you down. Because like it's like. The, just, just All the boxes fine. are just shoved away. Yeah. What and about. <clears throat> mentally draining as well to like mm. keep going, isn't it? Like to just do your thing, you think. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, like. Another tip. Figure out what your biggest fear is from being alone. And just take that fear away. Accept it, take it away. Or like I said earlier, delve into why. So what's what's your biggest fear of being alone? I think mine is being but my biggest fear in general is being forgotten. Right. And feeling like I haven't made an impact. Mm -hmm. Like not on the world. That's like, not possible. <laughs> not, I know it's not, not possible. Not Martin Luther King wise, but mm -hmm. like just being like. Part of something. Yeah. Yeah. But that shouldn't mean part of a couple or part yeah. of a family. Yeah. Or, we look at what a massive part of of this business you are. Like oh, and <laughs> no, but like and and the impact that you make on everybody here daily mm -hmm. is dramatic. Like yeah. it's dramatic. I okay. challenge anyone who's met you to say that they've forgotten about you, or yeah. they don't like. <laughs> they've tried have something <laughs> that reminds them of you at some point, yeah. or because you're just such a magnetic character that it's like. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Just love you. Yeah. Aww. Think you're the best. I am much loved. I love this. <laughs> Probably come and crash your solo date this week. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> it doesn't mean to be solo. <laughs> You'd be like, me and Kim will be sitting Let's on the get, other table. Um, can get... we join you yet? <laughs> oh, yeah. Fine. <laughs> um, what's your biggest fear of, uh, in terms of being lonely? Um, probably, yeah, probably being uh, alone with me, mental health. Yeah, with your thoughts. Um, yeah, it's probably the biggest one because I find them sometimes very difficult to control and that can lead to very, like, dark episodes mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, and I guess it it takes a lot of strength for you to pull yourself out of that on your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, you say, when I come in here and I'm not doing great, like... yeah. I need you's like mm -hmm. I need people to be able to go right come on yeah get us by the scruff of the neck yeah. and go like it's yeah. right we've, we've had enough of that now like mm -hmm. it's time to you that know is actually what we do yeah it's exactly <laughs> what come you on. do like you, I go sit in the focus room for two days and then it's like right okay that's it now get out now like, yeah you've got shit to do you've got yeah. a life to live and stuff and mm -hmm. so that's probably my biggest fear 
Yeah. Um, but it's the thing that I'm working on the most. That's and the thing. If if you if you recognize it and you're working on it, mm-hmm. yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. But I find the things that help me most with that is music and books. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Music and reading. So if like it feels particularly quiet in the flat or anything, I just put a podcast on or I'll yeah. put uh, some music on. Like, if it, like I listen to music all the time. Or if I feel like things are getting a bit too heavy or whatever, I'll read a book. Yeah. Um, it's like escapism almost. yeah yeah I guess yeah like just to give you that bit of breathing space from your, mm-hmm. your loneliness I suppose yeah it's interesting isn't it mm. um what do you think I guess there's quite there's a million yeah. things we can talk about in terms mm. of good parts about being alone I'm going to get Gwen in, in a second and just ask her just a couple of questions on it and see what she thinks but I think my only other advice and I've said this before but I'll say it again and I'll repeat it I think in as many podcasts as I can <laughs> is if you are alone or if you're recently alone or if you're thinking about becoming alone or being more alone whatever it might be don't think about forever <clears throat> like don't think this is forever think about things in chapters yeah and think about like what's my next chapter Think of it as a book, literally. Your life is a book. You know, you're not at the end because if you're at the end, you know, you know, you fucking died. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, that's the end of yeah. our book. Our yeah. human, this life, mm-hmm. this game that we are playing of life, the end is death. <laughs> we don't want to get In case anybody that. didn't know. I know. <laughs> this is a West Banco exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> but I think if you think about what your next chapter is, how do you want to spend your time in the next chapter? What does it look like? Are you going traveling? Are you focusing on work are you are you having a family are you what is your next chapter and where are you at in your life what are you ready for what are you what adventures are you wanting to have next yeah and and focus on it as a chapter yeah not two three years not what is that chapter and do that thing if you're alone and you want a kid do it go and do it there's other ways to do it if they like, don't sit and think oh I have to yeah I, I just think people th- if you are ready for you live your life for you do it for you in your next chapter whatever you were at where whatever space you're in whatever place you're at whatever you want to do do that thing yeah. and don't focus on two three four years because you'll be a different person by next year and then the year after that you'll be even different even different again so focus it as in chapters and then think about what you want to do for your next chapter and do that and if you're alone in what are these things called quotation marks all right then quotation marks <laughs> you do them a lot actually do i yeah you do. Oh, enjoy you do your friends i'm like bunny ears do i yeah you do it all the time yeah there we go i like it though just keep yeah. doing it i am I joy do. from friends yeah. now i oh, know it's not joy man it's Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it is joy. Because he doesn't know how to use them. He doesn't know how to use them. I'm going to do it more now, but not. Please do. But, do yeah. it like in the wrong context. Yeah, though. yeah, I'm going to. And only we'll know about it. Yeah, I'm going to. People will be like, there's something wrong with them. So I am going to. Yeah, that's a good idea. But yeah, that's my advice, I think. Um, don't think about the future. Think about your next chapter. I think that's, yeah. Should we get Gwen in? Yes. The Duchess. Right, who's swapping off for Gwen then? It's mint. Uh, I will. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah. Is that all right? Get the t- yeah, yeah, it's fine. Thank you for your um, lovely input, Han. No problem. Welcome to our lovely podcast. Oh, good morning. It's lovely to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so today, I'm going to call her Gran, but to everyone else, just Gwen or Gran. Yeah. But to yeah. be fair, lots of people call her Gran. Yeah. So Gran, today we're talking about being happy on your own. Oh, I love it. (laughs) End of story, move on. Wonderful. So I thought it would be nice to get you in. We've had a good chat. We've talked a little bit about the good parts, the bad parts. We've talked a bit about loneliness and how that can be different for every person. Some people get lonely because they don't have friends or or a specific group of friends. Some people are more lonely because they don't get an intimate side of a relationship or... um, Oh, I've done more all that bit. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So you've been through, I guess, every element of that, haven't you? Oh, yes, yeah. Um, we were talking about times yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. we've also chatted about how you can be lonely in a relationship how you can be with somebody that's very true but still very lonely yeah that's, um, that's the worst of all I that's think. exactly yeah. what we said yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that's exactly what we said so um again we've so we've talked about when someone says oh no i live alone or i'm i'm by myself 
it's seen as a negative thing. Oh, it's not. But it's not. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it's, it's, we're trying to kind of, I guess, turn that around. So mm -hmm. tell us how long have you lived and been by yourself, I guess? 38 years. Wow. Yeah. As long Wonderful. as I've been alive. Wonderful. That's amazing. Wonderful. And did you decide one day, nah, I just want to be by myself? Or has it been more of a gradual thing? I would like, I think it would probably be after I'd been married to somebody who was absolutely crazy. I did that. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, an armed robber, by the way. Oh, nice. However, <laughs> um, and then that was like, oh, my God. I think what what was really important in my day was um, that you had to be married to be in a relationship. It was like, oh, my God, if you had sex outside of marriage, yeah. that was so, totally mm. frowned upon. You were the scarlet woman. Yeah. That's right. And I was like, you know, I was always like... Um, I wouldn't do what everybody else did. Like the skirts were up here. I did what I, I did what yes, I wanted right. to do because that's like, I didn't care. Just I just is. wanted yeah, to yeah. be me. I just wanted to be the person that I wanted to be. Um, <laughs> so I didn't care if I, like I was married and um, it was horrible. Yeah. And I had an affair in that marriage because Pat was being unfaithful. <laughs> if he's listening. And um and so I thought, oh, the only way I could cope with that, because I had small children, was to do the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To get think, well, if you can do that with something that attack that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was <laughs> We've all that. been there, haven't we, where we've thought if you can't beat them, join them. That's exactly right. Yeah, but in my day, like, yeah. that was like, oh my That's brave I was as anything that yeah. yeah. And yeah. But I didn't care. Yeah. I didn't care. No, I just thought, no, I'm going to be me. I've got to be true mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. Well, do you not think that that's maybe where a lot of problems start when you care too much? When you care what people think and you care yeah, what... Mm -hmm. you don't, all you, and I've, I've said previously, every time I speak to you not about work, you'll start with and I'll say, how's your week been? And before you tell us how what you've done, you'll say, I've got a wonderful life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, is like... That's amazing. And you I think one of the main reasons why you've got a wonderful life is because you don't care. You don't care what anyone thinks. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't not in a negative way, no. but you know that you're happy. End of story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So thing is as well, I don't see you as alone ever. No, I'm not. Because you're not. I'm not. She's I'm not alone. So not alone. And this is no. the thing, I think this is why I think you're so grateful, I think, because you're surrounded by such a lovely family. There are people out there who are quite a bit more alone, I guess, because yeah. they don't have the family around them or a partner. That's, I think, when that, when yeah. loneliness can really kick in and, and companionship becomes really important within, like, care. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, I think it's... But it is still... You, I mean, there's been a few times since then when I think I remember you um, when maybe he's going to get married and then one day you were like, I'm not doing it, and you just broke everything off. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the wedding was planned and everything, I think. And, Snap. Well, and I've been there quite. Yeah, and she just went. Very liberating. She literally just said, I want to be by myself. Yeah. I want to be by myself. Mm. I don't want to share my space with anyone. Mm. And I remember you kind of sitting us down and saying, I don't, I just don't want it. Mm. I don't want it. I don't want to have to clean the toilet. You said, I don't want to have to clean the toilets after another man. No, that's why. <laughs> I absolutely could not. Nah, yeah, absolutely genuine. spot on. She yeah. said, I don't want to have to clean the toilets after another man. I like the toilet's being left as I leave them. And I like my kitchen being left. And I like to cook what I like to cook because certain things, the smells do me head in and this, that, the other, and die, die, die. It's true though. Mm -hmm. And nobody, you don't, th th this is what we've said previously, you don't realise that until you live on your own. Yeah. And I've said, and you'll probably feel the same, that I feel really sorry for people who've never lived, lived on their own because oh, they're missing missed out, out. Mm -hmm. on such like a liberating, like we talk about all the time that we love and it's, some people think it's pathetic, but we we'll love going to bed when it's still light outside. Oh, because it's like it's naughty. <laughs> I'm like, you should be doing something productive, or you should be this. And you're like, nah, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, no. yeah. And you're lying there in your bed, <laughs> and you <laughs> feel, ah, uh -huh. yep, I know exactly. I, know. I <laughs> love that feeling. Yep. So yep. I guess have you got any advice for anybody who maybe is, is I don't know, not wants to get out of a relationship, or maybe just isn't in a relationship, but. Because I think you've done all of that, haven't you? That's the thing. But so we're trying to get to a point where 
I think people can make the decision, actually, I am going to be by myself and even still have kids with a donor or maybe, you know, other things that to try and make it an option to be alone in well, our society, because our day is still now, it's not classed as an option. Like we were saying, if you go through a breakup, people always say, don't worry, you'll meet someone or don't worry, you'll find someone. And it's very much being alone is not the option. The most important thing that any woman or man or any human being can do is to be true to themselves, to be absolutely listen to their still small voice and never, ever, life's too short mm -hmm. to be wasting it and living a lie. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's, yeah. So, you know, that's the most, and it doesn't matter how many relationships you've been in, it doesn't matter what what you've done or whatever, don't ever be frightened to do what you want to do because the world, you think the people care and they don't and there might be somebody <laughs> who you really, really know who you think, you know, what are, going to people, what are people going to say and they might be in a really bad relationship and, and you don't know about that and you actually doing what you want to do and then people see that you're happy. Mm -hmm. That that's a great example. And to the other person, give, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it sort of enables people, and you feel like saying, "Well, yes, you, you can do this. It's wonderful." It's like you're a walking advert for yeah, you can, you can. I don't know anyone in here, single or otherwise, who starts every sentence that they say with "I've got a wonderful life." Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it's like you're a walking advert for, yeah, you can be alone. And because you actually listened to that voice and didn't listen to society saying, you must be married, you must be this, mm -hmm. you must be that. It's like, check me out. Mm -hmm. And you're very, very happy by yourself. And I very, say that. Yeah. Very happy. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't, I kind of pretend. Yeah. And I think I if the, even the thought of even, I mean, if we're going on holiday, she won't even share a room. Oh. <laughs> She's like, nah, absolutely not. I will not share a room. Do you know how much it costs? If no. I, buy it. <laughs> I love it. She won't. In fact, could I preferably be in a different hotel? Like, and honestly, yeah, yeah. To 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 a, to a degree, it's like, no, no. I want and need my own space, yeah. and that is that, and that is final. And it's like so refreshing. <clears throat> oh, totally. Yeah. And it's it's scary. Like you've been doing this for, like you say, thirty eight years. You've been kind of beating that drum of. No, no, this is, and we are still finding now mm -hmm. that we have to almost, the people our age, not necessarily us, have to justify that. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's like, mm -hmm. why? Mm -hmm. Why do you have to justify just wanting to be on your own? Mm -hmm. Have you, you must have had times when people have gone, oh, come on, let's get you out and get on the date and say, you know, oh, you know, I couldn't be bothered with that. I know, but like <laughs> in the times when people have done that, how have you, I guess, explained to oh. people? Well, I've done it. I've, you know, um, I've maybe gone out. Mm -hmm. My mum's gone, oh, you know, mm -hmm. maybe to do this or do that. And I've gone out and I've thought, oh, my God, <laughs> beam me up. No. Beam me up. I couldn't be bothered. Oh, God, help us. <laughs> no. I once went out with a bloke um, and he seemed to be really very, very nice. Oh, God, he was... We went to a restaurant. I, I couldn't stand the way he was eating. I thought, <laughs> oh, my God, I just want to go home. Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing and do you know, we've all been there. Mm -hmm. And how many times have we, I know, you'll be the same. You have the comment, you go on a date with someone and you think, oh, I don't like the way you eat. And you think, Laura, you're being ridiculous. No, you're not. See, the thing is, I don't. And I have always been, this is going to, this is where I get it from me, Gran. Yeah. I have always been like, unless there is 10 out of 10 boxes ticked, I'm not doing it. I'm not yeah. even joking in any relationship. I have been like, yeah. it, does he eat well? Does he speak well? Does he? I'm not even yeah. joking. Like, also, all those things that maybe would bug me, if that hasn't been there, I'd, I've never really made like sacrifices on that on that side yeah. of things because totally. when you, <laughs> but when you think about it though it's those little tiny things that build resentment in the long yes. run yeah and you could how many times have you been in a relationship and you're sitting and you look at them and you think you just irritate me <laughs> and if you'd been that stringent in the beginning mm -hmm. and thought actually no that'll get on my wick mm -hmm. 
you wouldn't find yourself in that position where you think, oh God, everything you do just irritates us. Yeah. And we've all been there. Do you ever get Can lonely, just- Gran? I don't. No? I'm absolutely very, very blessed. No, mm-hmm. I absolutely don't. I'll tell you one thing, though, that does um, keep couples together is financial insecurity. Mm-hmm. And can I just say to anybody out there who's feeling that, that you, it's not the case, you mm-hmm. can absolutely do it. Mm-hmm. You can break the ties. It doesn't matter. If you live in the mansion, I would rather be happy in a little two-bedded council house mm-hmm. than live in a mansion mm-hmm. for, for financial security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody owns you. No, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were saying that. We were chatting about how Laura, as a, how old are you? 37. 37-year-old single girl who has bought her own home and lives by herself. Mm-hmm. Like, it's incredible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To be fair, there's only me and you. Mm-hmm. In, this, in this building. Uh-huh. Isn't that mad? Yep, yep. Who and to come from Sunderland, I'm not being funny. But to, to come be fair, from I have, Sunderland I have, to do that. I have, a, I have a house now, but it's a buy a let. <laughs> yes, you have. Yes, yes, you do. But I did yes. buy that entirely by myself. Yes. Yeah, but you could live in it if you wanted to. I could, yeah. Like, you own it. Yeah. And it's like, three people, it's scary to me, have three people out of 20 odd. Mm-hmm. Like, that, that and, and, and how many people, if they really ask themselves... It's for financial security that they're with whoever. Yeah. Not yeah, it can be you, sometimes. Yeah, general. yeah, it can yeah. be sometimes. Yeah. yeah, interesting. So you do, how do you combat, or how, did you ever feel lonely? And if no. you did, did you, did, how did you combat no, that? No, I always, I always, I, I suppose I was lucky really because the relationships that I was in were so horrible mm-hmm. that it was just, oh, this Freedom. is Freedom. Yeah. This is absolute heaven to mm-hmm. be on my own. Mm-hmm. There was nothing to, to miss, was there? Absolutely there was, not. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely I think that's the, not. That's and definitely the big not thing. sex. Can I just tell you? <laughs> no. Great pretend. It's overrated. It's overrated. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you didn't really get, I guess, it's just, I think it would be nice if someone is thinking, oh, wow, I want to be like that. Like, how, is there any tips that you can say to combat any loneliness that people might be feeling? Get out there. Actually, being on your own, it's, it's an adventure. Because you go and you do things that you would never do. Yeah. It's a total adventure. Mm-hmm. And you invest in people that you wouldn't, that you can't when you're in a relationship. You see other people doing things that going on holiday and doing adventurous things and buying lovely cars and things like that. And you, you can, you can do that. You, you don't have anybody mm-hmm. to answer to. It's just, it's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's lovely. So I guess that's it then. What's your next adventure? And think of it in a chapter. Yeah. I what's like your that. next adventure? In what in that in a chapter's sense? It doesn't have to be five years. What's what's your next chapter? And what adventures are you gonna have in that chapter? I'm gonna take myself on my first solo date this weekend. Yes. I'll Very report good. back next week. Yeah, let us know how you feel. I mean I think it, you'll really enjoy it. It's me, something ridiculous is bound to happen. <laughs> but yeah. I'm Thank excited. you for both being lovely guests. Thank you. You've been marvellous. Um, if you have enjoyed this podcast, please keep listening. We've got them out every week. And we will see you guys next week on Just Another Group Chat.